February 3rd, St. Blaise, Bishop and Martyr. St. Blaise devoted the early years of his life to the study of philosophy and afterwards became a physician. In the practice of his profession, he saw so much of the miseries of life and the hollowness of worldly pleasures that he resolved to spend the rest of his days in the service of God. From being a healer of bodily ailments, he became a physician of souls, then retired for a time by divine inspiration to a cavern where he remained in prayer. When the bishop of Sebaste in Armenia died, Blaise, much to the gratification of the inhabitants of that city, was chosen to succeed him. St. Blaise at once began to instruct his people, as much by his example as by his words, and the great virtues and sanctity of the servant of God were attested by many miracles. From all parts the people came flocking to him for the cure of bodily and spiritual ills. When the governor of Cappadocia and Lesser Armenia, Agricolus, began a persecution by order of Emperor Licinius, St. Blaise was seized. After interrogation and severe scourging, he was hurried off to prison. While he was under custody, a distraught mother, whose only child was dying of a throat disease, threw herself at his feet and implored his intercession. Touched at her grief, he offered up his prayers, and the child was cured. The prisoner was brought before Agricolus again for further questioning, and again was whipped while tied to a pillar. He was spared from drowning when thrown into a lake. The governor ordered then that he be beheaded. At the execution site he prayed aloud to God for his persecutors, and asked that in the future those who would invoke him might be aided as he had been permitted to assist them during his lifetime. Our Lord appeared to him and said in a voice, which was heard by all bystanders, that he granted his prayer. Since that time his intercession has been effectually solicited, especially in the cases of all kinds of throat problems. Another legend of St. Blaise that many of us know is that a mother brought her son, who was slowly dying of suffocation due to a bone lodged in his throat, to be blessed by St. Blaise. But at Blaise's command, the child was able to cough up the bone and live. On this feast day, February 3rd, the blessing of St. Blaise is given, Two candles are consecrated and then held by a priest in a crossed position either over the heads or the throats of the faithful. As the candles are held there, the priest says, Through the intercession of St. Blaise, bishop and martyr, may God deliver you from every disease of the throat and from every other illness. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.